it must have looked like a mirage. The year was 1324, and a spectacle that warped the mind emerged from the vast dunes. A grand procession of horses, camels, and people snaked through the desert. Above them fluttered large red flags adorned with golden symbols. Up to 60,000 men were part of the caravan, ranging from soldiers and officials to servants and enslaved people. 500 enslaved each carried a rod of pure gold weighing 4 pounds or almost 2 kilos each, while the many camels each carried loads of gold dust weighing over 220 pounds or 100 kilos. Leading this opulent display, a man of regal allure rode amidst the soldiers. Accounts of the time describe him as youthful and handsome, with brown skin and a quote, pleasant face. His name was Mansa Musa, the revered leader of the Mali Kingdom, the grandest empire Africa had ever witnessed. While this great caravan was in fact a Muslim pilgrimage to Mecca, it also served a different purpose. By making the journey so lavishly, Mansa Musa was about to announce the Mali Empire as a new force to be reckoned with on the international stage. Mansa Musa couldn't have known that this expedition would etch an indelible mark in the annals of African history. The staggering wealth he displayed captivated the world, painting the Mali Kingdom as a mythical realm where a river of gold flowed. However, it also stirred inquisitive minds and ignited ambitious schemes. The allure of the gold Mansa Musa scattered prompted a natural curiosity. What other untold riches lay hidden in the depths of Africa, beyond the immense expanse of the Sahara Desert? And what was the easiest route to seize those treasures? <laughs>